My dear brothers and sisters, my dear fathers and mothers, each and every one of us is looking for the formula of happiness. We all want to be happy. Nobody gets up one day and says, let me take the formula of depression. I've spent countless years happy. I need a change. Nobody says that. Everybody wants happiness. And if we look at those who spoke about happiness, we find that some of them said that happiness was in the attainment of financial standing or material well-being. And some of them said happiness was in the attainment of many children, for example. Some of them said happiness was in having a handsome or pretty spouse. But if we really research those who got what they wanted and thought was happiness, we find that they never really attained the formula of happiness. They might have attained a portion of what gains happiness, but in terms of attaining happiness and its formula in its totality, then they did not most definitely attain it. And they would testify to this themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book, given that Islam is a complete way of life and has taught us everything good and warned us against everything bad, has indeed taught us the formula of happiness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man amila saliham min dhakarin aw untha wa huwa mu'minun falanuhyiyannahu hayatan tayyibah وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ لا إله إلا الله Listen to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, For the one who does good deeds from both the males and the females, and they are believers, then for them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give a resilient life, a happy life, a fulfilling life. And the prize of living a life full of good deeds is not restricted to happiness in this world. Rather, it follows on into that which is known as the perpetual Life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those happy both in this world as well as the hereafter. Ameen. So this here, O servants of Allah, is the formula of happiness.